New at 5, did the Automobile Club of Southern California discriminate against some drivers resulting in higher premiums for unsuspecting policyholders? A lawsuit making those allegations was introduced today, and Consumer Specialist Rick Romero is here now with a closer look. Rick? Well, Michelle, a former insurance agent with the Auto Club is alleging in a lawsuit the Auto Club is discriminating against some potential customers with an illegal commission scheme. And along with a consumer advocacy group, alleges we're all paying for it with higher insurance premiums. But the Auto Club says it's not true. Jill Rogers of San Clemente is a former insurance agent with the Auto Club of Southern California. At a news conference today, Rogers alleged while an Auto Club agent, she and other agents were penalized every time they sold an auto insurance policy to someone who previously didn't have insurance or was a first-time driver. That was the first thing that you asked when you answered the phone. Um, do you have prior insurance? And then that's when some agents, if they said no, that's when they would hang up. Attorney and founder of Consumer Watchdog in Santa Monica, Harvey Rosenfield, says ever since the passage of Prop 103 in 1988, it is illegal to discriminate against potential clients who have not had insurance before. So today, Rogers filed a lawsuit alleging the Auto Club has been using a scorecard to determine insurance premiums and how much commission the agent should receive. It is also alleged points were given to the agent for signing up clients with a past history of insurance and were penalized with no points if the customer did not have insurance before. Allegedly, fewer points meant agent commissions would drop dramatically. The penalty can be enormous. An agent can make $100 to $500 in commissions for selling a policy to someone who has had prior insurance, but if the applicant did not have prior insurance, the agent makes about 20 bucks. Rosenfield says such practices can make some drivers go without insurance. In turn, insurance companies charge higher premiums for uninsured motorist coverage. Jeff Spring, Auto Club spokesman, says more than 40% of this year's new Auto Club customers did not have prior insurance. He also says they do use a scorecard, which does ask about prior coverage, but yeah, believes so, it is uh, legal. The policies that we have, have in place now and, and the, the activities for our agents we have in place now, we believe are in compliance. Spring added this about the lawsuit. We believe this lawsuit is without merit and are confident that the truth will come out during the course of the litigation. Now the lawsuit seeks to require the Auto Club to pay back commissions that were allegedly withheld from agents. One more thing. Prop 33 is on the November ballot, and if passed, it would repeal some of Prop 103's provisions and would allow insurance companies to avoid selling coverage to those drivers without prior auto insurance. This is Rick Romero, ABC7 Eyewitness News.